Hey guys, so today I want to open up a few apps here uh, on my iPhone 5 and also on my iPhone 4 with latest beta and I want to check out the speed of that. So uh, just to confirm here that this is beta 4, I'm just going to go into settings here on both devices, going to go down to general, go to about, and you can see here 11 a44 blah blah, blah 35d same here 11a44 35d great so it's gonna start off here by closing down everything that's open at the moment so this is a dual core on the iPhone 5 versus single core here on the iPhone 4. So we're gonna start off here with messaging. So not that far behind. And the, I'm continuously going to have the apps open up, open up in the background. See there also. Let's see here, here we can see another view. There we go. Okay, let's try photos. <laughs> so also a little bit quicker there on the iPhone 5. Let's try the camera. There we go, up and running. Not super far behind uh, on the iPhone 4. Um, but the iPhone 4 of course doesn't have that, that uh, those filters that you can have over here doesn't have that let's uh, try out the weather app a little bit behind let's try the clock also there just a little bit behind the maps It seems like I do have some in iOS 7, at least in the beta, I can't see the maps. It's a little bit weird. Let's try videos. Also, not a super huge difference. Let's try notes. Tiny, tiny bit faster. Let's try reminders. As you see, the, the iPhone 4 still doesn't have to struggle super much. Oh my, they are all red. That's not a good sign. Let's try Game Center. Okay, now we can see a big difference here. Definitely. And the, here we can also of course see the super more much more vibrant display there on the iPhone 5 that it really do looks more cool in terms of colors than the old iPhone so let's go with the next one new stand huh we don't have that oh there we go Okay, there we didn't really see any difference. Okay, now let's try iTunes Store. Here we can definitely see a big difference in terms of loading stuff up uh, when you wanna load up a lot of media, multimedia, it's probably going to be a big difference. The App Store. There we go. So you can see a bigger difference there. One has to load up media and such. Let's see the Passbook app. Also, they're at least a little bit quicker. Let's see here. If we can load up. things like the compass also it's a little bit quicker I don't think the iPhone 4 have one on any uh, thing that I've opened up but of course 
it shouldn't. Definitely kind of like a big difference almost there when we went to, into the settings. So we'll see here also if we can try out other things like the calculator. There we have a very, very tiny difference of course, because you probably don't have to load up that much. And the same goes over there. So just a quick little look here at loading up some default apps. We did see the biggest difference, of course, uh, when I was trying out to load up um, multimedia st stuff like at the App Store and also the iTunes Store that had to load some things. Um, and we did see like the smallest difference in things like the calculator. Uh, of course, maps, if, if, we, if I would be able to uh, see the maps, I don't see the Apple Maps inside of uh, the latest beta, not quite sure why, but it is definitely a little bit random. So you can see here, I tried to go with satellite, but it doesn't really seem to be working. So a little bit random, a little bit weird, but uh, I got this request to do a video like this, so hopefully people will uh, enjoy that. Uh, so maybe I do the same video here about trying to load up some games and do another comparison like that, but we'll see. Peace out.